you know, it's kind of hard to make a tree interesting outside of it being really massive or being old or being historic or something. But as I've said a lot of times on this channel, life finds a way. And although we may just see trees as static objects that decorate our world and filter out air, they are living creatures just like us. And like other creatures, some trees are capable of hostility and even murder. Today, we are going to look into the strangler figs, the plants that choke trees. Now, strangler figs is a term given to a number of plants in the genus Ficus, along with other non-strangling figs. These figs, in particular, can be found in tropical and subtropical environments in Asia, Australia, Africa, South America, Central America, and North America. These trees mainly find their homes in rainforests and jungles where competition for space and resources is a never-ending struggle. And plants are by no means an exception. Plants have to do all they can to survive in rainforests and jungles in the marshes of Florida, where even the light is scarce due to the shadow cast from the vast canopies created by massive trees. But one tree found a unique way to survive and even thrive in these ecosystems. Strangler figs are pretty much the jujitsu of the tree world, but instead of butt scooting on the ground, they start from the top. Kind of like a really slow flying triangle or maybe even a standing choke. Any jujitsu guys in the comments, what submission do you think best fits the strangler fig? The strangler fig starts their lives with animals pooping out their seeds into the nooks and crannies of massive trees, skipping the line for sunlight and patiently awaiting germination. From there, the fig tree will grow its roots down the host tree, latching onto it for support and encasing the trunk and branches with its ever-growing roots. The roots grow at a rapid pace, racing to the ground while thickening and merging its roots together, giving it a lattice-like appearance, encasing and improving the support of the tree. Once the roots reach the ground below, the growth accelerates even more rapidly, and while this is happening, the fig tree will shoot out its own branches and contribute to the vast canopy above. Some, but not all, strangler figs' growth processes will end up completely choking out the host tree, leaving it to die over a long period of time. In these cases, the host tree will often rot away while the strangler fig's continuous growth allows it to live independently from the prior tree, with its strong roots supporting the strangler figs, leaving a hollow center where the old tree once lived. It might be important to also preface this, but not all strangler figs actually strangle their hosts to death, with some strangler figs often sparing its host, and some almost never killing it ever, simply just using the host for support. Host trees may also receive the benefit of structural support for severe storms, as many botanists seem to believe that some strangler figs provide structural support in dire winds. And since strangler figs are photosynthetic, they don't really need a host for nutrients, so they don't really need a host in general. So if they do land on the ground and they do get sufficient sunlight and water, they will grow perfectly fine, just normally shoot up from the ground and grow like any other tree. Now on the surface, a plant that chokes out other trees and blocks light from the sun with thick branches may sound like a bad thing. But the strangler fig is an important contributor to the jungle ecosystem. For starters, the strangler fig, as their name suggests, produce figs, which many animals of the jungle eat. Figs, including strangler figs, also have a symbiotic relationship with the fig wasp, a wasp that lays its eggs inside of unripe figs, which are direct, which are they are different from fruits. A fig isn't a fruit; it's actually an inverted flower, and the only way for these flowers to pollinate is through these wasps, who in exchange are given refuge for its eggs and offspring, serving as one of the most specialized examples of coevolution in symbiotic relationships. A good amount of these figs are even edible to humans, and the sap of Physius aurea, the Florida strangler fig, has been used by natives in many different ways. 
from use on arrows to fishing lines to even chewing gum. Although it is mildly toxic to cats and dogs, so cool cats and dogs out there, uh, make sure to steer clear. And as stated in the earlier section, not all stranglers actually end up killing their host, with some just limiting growth and others just using them for support. In the jungles that many of these figs exist in, they also contribute to the overlooked yet over your head ecosystem that is the canopy. A majority of rainforest's life resides in the canopy, serving as a maze where monkeys thrive, birds perch, and snakes move in search of prey. The dense foliage that may block out light for smaller plants below is itself a haven for many different animals above. And as these trees both provide food and shelter, strangler figs are frequented by the animals that call the canopy home and to the ones on the ground who take advantage of the fallen figs for food. The bizarre appearance and nature of these plants has also influenced mythology and is symbolized by cultures as a symbol of resilience and a connection to nature. So now that I told you about the group of trees that grow from the top down using other trees for support while choking them out and is pollinated via a special wasp that lays eggs inside of its inverted flowers and bleeds chewing gum, do you still think trees are boring? The strangler fig is an interesting plant to say the least, as the way they come to be and what they can do to their hosts blows away the surface level idea of what a tree is, at least it did for me. And even when these trees do harm their host, it not only wraps around the host, but adds its canopy and provides food and shelter to countless animals. The strangler fig is a fascinating tree that seemingly flipped the script on nature and found a different way to grow, often to the detriment of their peers, but for the benefit of the vast jungles and rainforests and woodlands that they call home, and to the animals that call them home. And that's going to do it for the strangler figs. Uh, this was a really interesting plant. I got this from a comment that recommended a, a couple other things, but this was the most standout one, so I decided to cover this one first. Although the other one is like radioactive like mushrooms and stuff so that could be pretty interesting but what did you think about the strangler figs make sure to comment down below like the video if you liked it and uh use that hype feature when it comes out because i'm gonna keep saying it and looking dumb until it does drop and even after then i'm gonna keep saying hype the video hype the video anyways bro subscribe like make sure to leave them notifications on and i'll see you in the next one